It's my pleasure to release with some of the results of this study analyzing the differences in cancer drug prices globally. This was a collaborative effort by researchers from around the globe. The background is that the price of individual cancer drugs differs between countries. However, the magnitude of these, difference, of these differences is not fully understood. It's unclear how cancer drug prices relate to affordability in different countries. The objectives of this study were therefore to understand the difference in cancer drug prices in multiple countries, in the USA, the UK, China, India, Israel, South Africa, and Australia. And then the secondary objective was to understand how these drug prices relate to affordability. The methodology was the following. We analyzed the prices of 23 cancer drugs in seven countries. 15 of these drugs were generic and eight were patented. We calculated the price for one month of treatment. We used retail prices as in several countries it is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to gain access to actual cost following discounts and rebates. In order to understand affordability, we used GDP at purchasing power parity per capita as a measure of wealth. For the countries analyzed and in the subsequent figures, the countries are listed from left to right as GDP per capita increases. The USA has the highest GDP per capita, as we know, of, of these countries at around $55,000, and India has the lowest at around $5,000. We then took the median monthly prices in each country and divided it by the monthly GDP per capita in order to understand affordability. This box and whisker plot demonstrates the results for the eight patented drugs. Additional data will be released during the scientific session for the generic drugs in our, in our analysis, and I'd encourage you to attend that to see those results also. The horizontal bar in each box is the median. These values are perhaps the most important values here. The X is the mean, the box demonstrates the interquartile range, and the vertical lines or whiskers demonstrate the range of values. We can see that the US has significantly higher prices than other countries. Israel, UK, Australia, and China have similar median prices, while those for India and South Africa appear to be slightly lower. This slide attempts to compare the ability to pay for cancer drugs. The median monthly price for each country is divided by the monthly GDP per capita of purchasing power parity. We see that despite lower prices in India and China, these drugs appear to be relatively less affordable than in other countries. In the USA, despite having the highest GDP per capita, given the higher drug prices, the drugs appear to be less affordable than in other developed countries. We see a similar trend for the 15 generic drugs and that will be presented in the scientific session. In conclusion, there are major differences in the retail prices of drugs globally. These differences are not proportional to ability to pay. Despite lower prices in low-income countries, the drugs are relatively unaffordable. Despite the USA being the wealthiest country, drugs are less affordable than in other developed countries. In order to truly understand the value of cancer care globally, we need open access to discounted prices. Important questions are raised by this pilot study. These are ethical, economic, political, and regulatory. Importantly, understanding the price is only one part of the value equation. The drugs analyzed provide very different levels of benefit. Some are almost curative, while others extend life by only six to eight weeks. Understanding efficacy is essential when trying to solve issues related to access. And the value equation is benefit divided by cost. Thank you. <laughs>